What's up guys, this is Sean Heather and in this video we are going to do a gaming review of Realme 5 Pro smartphones by playing few of the most high-end heavy graphics game on the highest possible graphics setting. Realme 5 Pro comes with a Snapdragon 712 processor, Adreno 616 GPU, 8GB RAM, 6.3 inch Full HD Plus screen and it runs on Android 9. So these are the games we are going to play on our Realme 5 Pro today. Along with the gaming performance, we will also monitor the battery performance and whether we are going to face any heating issue or not. So right now the battery percentage is 84 and the battery and CPU temperature is 28 degrees Celsius. So let's play these games and let's see how good it's going to be. So first of all, let's start with Call of Duty. So in the game setting, you can see that we have selected very high graphics quality and very high frame rate as well. If I select the graphics quality as high, then I will get the option to turn on the maximum frame rate. But if I go to very high, then this option is disappearing. So I'm going to select the very high and very high for both graphics quality and the frame rate. And now let's play the game. So the volume is full. So there is no frame drops or lagging, everything is quite smooth, the graphics quality is great as well. So as you can see everything is going pretty smooth here, no frame drops or lagging is happening while playing Call of Duty on Realme 5 Pro here. So the graphics quality is so good and no frame drops. Or lagging is happening as you can see here. And the audio quality is pretty good as well. A bit tinnish, but it's still loud enough to enjoy the game. And especially the graphics quality as I'm talking about is so nice. If you have a look on the gun and everything it's so good lots of detail and as i mentioned no frame drops or lagging is happening everything is pretty smooth when i'm changing the camera angles the visual angles it's so nice here so let's go back from here and let's play some other game let's play cover fire it is one of the most high-end heavy graphics game so as you can see that i'm using the realme game space a feature here to play all of these games I forgot to mention in the beginning. So here in the game setting you can see the graphics quality I have selected is high and the FPS as 60. And now let's play the game a bit. So once again Graphics quality is so good and it's very smooth as well.
so everything was nice and smooth while playing cover fire on realme 5 pro as you can see graphic quality was good and everything was super smooth we were playing this game on 60 fps so now if we go back from here to call of duty you can see that the game was exactly where i left it it's over now but what i'm trying to show here is that the game was not forced close so we got 8 gb ram here on realme 5 pro and i was playing one of the most high and heavy graphics game call of duty mobile then i switched to cover fire and when i came back to call of duty it was exactly where i left i was just thrown out of the game because of the inactivity i was not playing the game was already over but the game itself was not forced closed so the 8 gb ram is working pretty fine and you can play at least like two high and heavy graphics games side by side without worrying about the force closing and if i go back from here to cover fire you can see once again the game is exactly where i left so i can start playing this one as well so the performance of ram and the memory management is quite good for sure now let's close all of them and let's play pubg mobile so based on the hardware of realme 5 pro pubg mobile has selected high graphics quality so the graphics quality is selected as hd and frame rate as high i'm going to switch to hdr and you can see that it is not available for this device so this is the maximum graphic setting that i can have on pubg mobile and now let's play the game a bit so it seems pretty smooth here while i'm changing the camera angles and you can have a look on the character it's lots of detail here especially if you have a look on the cloth the costume good amount of detail everywhere once again very smooth when i'm changing the camera angles here and also if you have a look on the graphic quality on the plane especially it's so nice you can see the reflection and everything it's very good So everything is quite smooth as you can see here. The graphic quality is good as well. Lots of action happening in the game right now. And here I'm dead. So I was just trying to give you an idea about the gaming capability of the device. It was so good. But as you can see that I'm not a good PUBG player. I was just trying to give you a quick demo of the graphics quality and how smooth it's going to be. And it seems pretty smooth as well. The graphics quality was nice. No frame drops are lagging. But and here one of my team member um, trying to serve the ground. I don't know what exactly she's doing. So let's play some other game and the good thing is that after playing all of these games since uh, the device is pretty cool let's have a look on the temperature here it's 35 so it's not hot for sure right now cpu 36 battery 35 and the battery percentage moved from 84 to 80 and now let's play 
Shadow Gun Legends, one of the most high-end heavy graphics game and it runs at 60 FPS as well. And this game usually heats up the device a lot because of its heavy requirement for the graphics. So for this game, I have selected ultra high graphic quality and 60 FPS. So a multiplayer game is starting. So you can see it's lagging a bit. And once the action is started, lots of frame drops started happening. So the graphics quality is very impressive as you can see here, lots of detail in everything but it's lagging now and then. And you can see that once the action is finished on the screen, it's pretty smooth. But whenever there are lots of characters on the screen and lots of action activities happening, then it's lagging a bit. But the graphics quality is brilliant. So if you are going to play Shadow and Legends on Realme 5 Pro then you will be happy with the performance for sure because of the great graphics quality and if you can switch to a bit low frame rate or graphics quality instead of ultra high that I am using right now then it will be even better. And here I am dead so I am just gonna skip from this game now let's close it and now let's play the last game for today and that's going to be warhammer 40,000 it is a 3d graphics game so you can see that how nice is the graphics quality here it's a 3d graphics game and the 3d graphics rendering is nice and impressive with a lot of detail on the character as well if i bring it's so close to the this robot, the character, you can see how nice it is. Okay, let's play it a bit. So everything is nice and super smooth while playing Warhammer 40k on Realme 5 Pro. The graphic quality is great 
and most especially the 3D graphics rendering is very impressive as you can see lots of gel in everything and no lagging or frame drops are happening as well so it seems that in terms of gaming capability realme 5 pro is a nice smartphone especially if you consider the price and the range of the device the hardware aspects and everything it's a nice deal for sure for a gamer it is capable of running most of the high-end heavy graphics game on the highest possible graphics setting the device doesn't get warm at all especially like when you were playing the shadow and legends that usually heats up the device a lot but still it was pretty impressive and there was no frame drops or lagging most of the time while playing other games but in shadow and legends we faced a bit of problem when there was lots of activity and action on the screen then the frame drop was happening sometimes it lagged as well so that's all for now friends talking about the battery status it is at 77% now and the temperature is 35 degrees celsius after playing all of these high and heavy graphics game it's going down now as well so after playing all of these games for nearly 30 minutes the battery percentage moved from 84 to 77 7% reduction in the battery status and talking about the temperature it's at 34 degrees celsius so the device is not warm at all not just in terms of numbers also in my hand when i'm holding it it's at totally regular temperature so this is also a very nice thing that we need to consider while playing all of these high-end heavy graphics game that the device the realme 5 pro is not heating up so in terms of gaming the overall performance is not for sure whether it's the graphics quality the battery status or the heating issue so that's all for now friends thanks for watching this video if you enjoyed this give it a thumbs up share it with your friends subscribe the channel and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notification for future uploads and i'll see you guys next time in another video have a nice day